Yeah, it on. Yeah, it on. YouTube, what's up with it? You know, we about to get down to that nitty gritty when I pull up with that young coffee cup. You know what I mean? Y'all see that steam coming off that thing right there? Came up on this over the little 420 week. And I don't know if y'all can see this shit, but shout out to Connected. Spent $100 and they gave me this blessing. You feel me? But, uh, yeah, I'm sipping on this yak. So, you know, we about to get down to it today. Today, we're going to cover a topic that's been kind of near and dear to heart. You know what I mean? And I've been watching the world spin, you know, from afar. And, you know, I thought we would touch on this because this is an interesting topic for all concerns. You feel me? And today, we're going to unpack what the word white boy means. I don't need you for a remix, white boy. I don't need you. All them other niggas want to tell you what I'm telling you. I'm saying it for all the niggas who ain't in my position. White boy want it. If you want it, nigga, be, nigga, be about it. Put it on Miss Gladys, nigga. We all got them. We all got them. Let the dogs loose. Y'all niggas want to go down? Let's go down. This Rose ain't bitch. Guess what? This is a perfect opportunity for y'all to see the type of nigga white boy is. Soon as that pressure on white boy, he gonna go post stunning, stunning that $20 jogging suit. No, the man needs some paper. And make him say, I got your back. He don't want to say that to that mom. You feel me? Because being a young Caucasian myself, you know, I take the word in the terminology is hella disrespectful. And believe me, when motherfuckers be around me and they be, they be throwing that shit at me, you know, I gotta pause them in their tracks, you feel me? I gotta pause them in their tracks and tell them, you know, pump your brakes, player, you know what I mean? Cause I don't like being called a fool and I don't like being called no white boy, you know what I mean? Because the terminology white boy to me, ultimately, ultimately the, the terminology white boy to me, to me, is a is a belittling terminology and it's usually said with a with a with a note of being weaker than is how i take the terminology white boy when a motherfucker says white boy to me or calls me white boy you feel me and don't get me wrong i i get it that a lot of people don't say it and mean it in a bad way and maybe it's a a, a personal a personal uh, uh uh you know funny bone that they touching on right when they say it because being that i'm Caucasian, European, you know what I mean? However you want to name it, because my, my mother's side is Danish and Irish, and they hardworking people. They believe me, they, they, they didn't have no slaves. They didn't do none of that shit right there. These is hardworking people that migrated out here themselves. And believe me, they came from the bottom up, scrubbing floors, scrubbing walls, you know what I mean? They provided for their big families, and they did whatever they needed to do. And my father's side is Irish and German. And of course, that's 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 up for debate by any means. And I totally get that. And I've always understood, you know, the history of life and, and, and racial tension and so forth, right? But being that we we use the terminology white boy, right, in the culture, right? You know, and I even see 19 Keys uh say something like it called it a cultural play, and he was like, let's go, but Ultimately, it's a racist terminology, the way that like uh, Rick Ross has been using it lately towards Drake, right? Like we see the Rick Ross, uh, Drake battle, whether whether that's made up Hollywood shit or if it's just, but he's using the word white boy, you know what I mean? The take from this motherfucker, the take from Drake, to, you know, his authenticity, his his stature, his, his, his accomplishments, whatever. He's belittling him as a white boy and everybody sits back and everybody's cool with it, though, right? You know, motherfuckers ain't in no uproar about it, but that's some that's that's some real racist shit right there. If, if the roles were reversed, you have Black Lives Matter, you have motherfucking all kinds of motherfuckers up, and believe me, social media would be on fire. But then again, you know what I mean, white boy, you know, white people, you know, you for me coming up as a as a as a, as a young, uh, I want to say, you know, I, I was one of the few, right? I didn't have a lot of white friends till I got into my adult yay ages, like. 16, 17 is when I really started having like white friends and shit. But coming up as a, as as the minority in the group that I used to kick it around in the, in the area that I'd be around, you know, I would be the first one that had to prove themselves, and I had to prove myself way harder then. You feel me? And I was always the first first one to get roasted, so I needed to be I need thick skin. You feel me? I need to be ready and willing for whatever comes my way, and I gotta go harder. You know, I gotta be the first one. I got to first to take that first plunge. You know what I mean? I got to be the first one. And believe me, now that I'm 41 years old, I done dialed the shit in a little bit. At least I think, right? At least I, I hope I did, right? But 
you know, with that said, you know, I still I still have the 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 PTSD of coming up as a white boy, you know what I mean? And having to prove myself and be around, you know, you know, uh 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 you motherfuckers that really, you know what I mean, really, really ain't no harder than me, but they they feel like I need to prove myself to them. They ain't no they ain't no bigger, no better now that I look back, but in the immature age that I had, I didn't have the understanding to get that. You know, I just knew in my surrounding, in my situation, I had to do what I needed to do. But long story short, we see this unfold with like Milk 7 Fall. And I think this is a good segue right here for us to peep a little video of Spider Loke and uh, Munchie B out of California speaking about Milk 74. And, you know, once again, you know, him just being from the organization that he is from or declares that he's from or has declared that he's from, yet. On the flip side, you know, the other pieces of the, the ingredients are missing. Let's peep that out real quick. So yeah, surprised that, that milk play with my name because I saw like y'all saw. Niggas from the orange side, I don't they 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 vouched for it a long mm -hmm. time ago. So I purposely avoid having conflict with niggas that's um politically on the opposite side. Cause that could always bleed over. Mm -hmm. All right. And so I yeah. left him alone. No matter what I thought, mm -hmm. all the homies was on him. From Brick to yeah. the Crip ODM, Mac. Crip Mac. Every oh. homie got on it. Need a boy, go ahead. Go ahead. And, he's, and I always gave him a pass just based on, first, he the white boy. Yeah. No, I don't mean nothing, nigga. If you yeah. find yeah. I'm a black guy. You supposed to be gassing but, up. But, but, That's what I was about to say. But, That's where I was but coming I can in. Stay, the little homies is on him. Mm. So I always stayed yeah. off of it. No, all right. So Y'all had that. What yeah. I got to do something uh, for? You don't got to do nothing. But why? So he still <laughs> said my name. You don't stall him out because he white, though. You got to pull yourself a little yeah. bit more because he white. Listen but y'all got it. Y'all been on him. So nah, not y'all. This is new with me. <laughs> if I'm in the dorm. I ain't never said nothing bad about the dorm. I'm in the weird nigga. But wait, he ain't never been in the dorm. By the time I look up, the little homies done pressed the white boy from Hoover and put him through the whole. Program he before look I got the gate and spider logo brick and yeah, I'm gonna be like, okay, he's, he's I ain't not got coming it. in, <laughs> but y'all, no, in, he bro. came in on accident. Nah, they'll come in. And nah. before I came oh, aware, y'all was, was, was already on him. Y'all put him through the ringer. Yeah. yeah, what I gotta do? So my whole thing was with me saying that y'all the same age, right? Was for me to get to the point, hey, like a white Hoover is standout material. Mm -hmm. You gonna know through the schools, through the juvenile halls, through the streets That's that true. it's a white boy from Hoover going crazy. That's a good point. Have you ever heard? But he never of claimed Milka. to be to go crazy. But I, it don't matter. You I, white, I, you got to do a I, little I'll bit say more. This. Girl, what is you doing over here? Girl? Last week he posted a picture with I me, mean, Mad Dog for seven folk, and he he he, he, a, he a real over. That's he cool. Real seven folk, baby. But but, I, but 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 for him to be a white boy, you supposed to stand out from your section, and he don't. Thank you. That's all he's saying. Like the talk, so, big tacos no, wait, from NXP. But, but, yeah. Every, everybody that's like Banker a different T. race. But from, from, can tell, bro. Like Goldie, Goldie, <laughs> Goldie from uh, uh, Park Village. Legendary. Legendary. You know what I'm White Free boy. Goldie. I heard yeah. he might be coming home, uh, uh, too. Our, our, our boy from Cedar Block. Mm -hmm. What's his name? White boy. White boy. Rest in peace. Shit, Banker Stand T. out. My homie, Lil And personally, for me now, being the age that I am and seeing that Milk 7-4 is even an issue with politics or LA street shit, you know what I mean? On the internet, like it's, it gives LA a, a, a bad look, but the game is already, you know what I mean? Already got two black eyes, a broken nose, and it's on its last leg, right? So it don't really, it don't really run me too, too, too crazy to see that, you know, he's, you know, cause he's got the clout, he's the wet, he's the YouTuber, and he's, he's a voice of Los Angeles now. He's made himself that through the internet, right? But yet we ain't never seen Melk take no fades, we ain't never, you know what I mean? Like there ain't never been, Milk has been called out on numerous occasions. And with the last issues with, you know, uh, with, with, with going back on No Jumper and Adam, he give, he give all the Caucasians that's got, they got, got any skin in the game a bad look because, you know, everybody that fucked with Milk thought he was some thoroughbred. Like, you know, he, he's, his, what he says is so real and yet it is real. But is he real when it comes down to where it needs to be real? Because at the end of the day, ain't no man should be turned down no phase. I mean, at least at one point in time with, with, with one person, you should at least made a demonstration. I don't give a fuck. You can say whatever you want to say on the internet, whatever it may be. To have a backbone and a name, your name your name is more worthy than more any money that you could ever have. And your name gets tarnished like that, you can't bounce back from that. But real 2024 shit, I guess we talking, right? But back to the topic at hand, yeah, white boy, if the if the roles were reversed on that shit, if somebody started cutting that up, you know what I mean, put that shoe on a different foot, 
what would it really be? Adam 22 is a prime example right here. And I've been saying this for a long time, but ultimately, do you see the difference how motherfuckers treat Adam 22, knowing that he's a white dude, he's got power and clout in the culture, in the community, the music, whatever the fuck you want to talk about. But yet, all the shit he done did, weird shit, motherfucking little beefs he done started, ain't nobody ever put hands on this man. And I'm not advocating for no one to put no harm on this man, but I just think it's mind boggling because if the roles were reversed and this was a black dude, motherfuckers would have been punched on Adam. They'd have, beat, they'd have dragged Adam's ass through the mud. So there's a different kind of white boy right there, right? They give the white boy there the respect, you know what I mean? But yet, everybody, I mean, you, all you got to do is look at any post that has Adam 22 in, in, in it and you'll see the comments, everybody talking bad on this man because everybody know you piece of shit, you know what I mean? I mean, damn, for April Fool's, he played like he was gay. We don't, I don't think he was playing. I think he was letting us know that, yeah, he do some strange shit behind closed doors. We never, we never doubted you, Adam. But the cold kicker is the terminology white boy and it being a belittling word, right? Let's get back to the topic before I get too far with this because I want to make this a brief video. But, you know, I just want to know what y'all think about it because for me, I prefer being called European or Caucasian or any of that shit. You know, why can't I just be the homie? Or why I gotta be the white boy homie? Why I gotta be, why, why I gotta have this extra added on to me? Why can't I just be the homie? Oh, the homie that's over there, yeah. Oh, the homie with the uh with the blonde hair. Oh, the homie with the uh with the long hair. You know what I mean? Like, why I gotta be, why I gotta be the white boy? Why I gotta be lesser than? You know what I mean? Why is it gotta be big eye little you type of shit? You feel me? Because at the end of the day, I guarantee it, as a, as a European Caucasian, I can hold my motherfucking weight any motherfucking tank. You feel me? But it don't even need to be on that type of time. You feel me? Because the respect should just come off of a motherfucker's character. But I get it. And a lot of a lot of Caucasians, right? They're cool with being called white boy. They ain't tripping. This, this shit probably never register in their mind. Probably just me. You feel me? But that's why I made this video. Y'all let me know down there in the comments what you think about that white boy terminology. All right? Until the next one, I'm gone.